Thou shalt swear not by, by, by heaven nor by the earth. So why you swear? So it says, what is it for you to declare my word? Read on. It says, seeing thou enters instruction, because this book is a book of instruction to the Israelites. Right? To you so-called black Latino native. This book is for y'all and y'all only. Read it for me and Psalms. Huh? Back to 19? Yeah. That is Psalms chapter 147. And verse 19, it says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, mm -hmm. his statutes and his judgments you know unto Israel. You know why he say he showeth his word unto Jacob? Because only Jacob could see what is in here. Meaning what? The prophets. Only the prophets could understand what is in this book. Right? Hey, if, if the Moors are about to bring a, a, a hurricane to this place, he's going to show his prophet in. The scripture said the most I will do nothing, nothing at right all. Here, right here. Bring it out, bring it out. Let's just pray. Amos 3 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. Surely thy power will do nothing mm -hmm. but reveal it the secret unto his servants, the prophet. The secrets unto the servants and prophet. Right? Oh, because give me give me John chapter 14 and 15. Right? Go ahead. This is Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear these words that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Do you love them on me? So, wait, wait. So, hear these words that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Thy whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's it. Therefore, right. I will punish you for your iniquity. Right, because what? This, this word is given unto you, and you choose not to take this word. Right? So Moses said he's going to punish you. Right, go ahead. Read the verse to me. Yeah. John 14, verse 15. Mm -hmm. If you love me, keep my commandments. 14 and 15. I think it's 15 and um, 14. See, I call you friend. Yeah. John chapter 15 and verse 14. It says, Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Right, so the most I the wish I said, the thing that I tell you in darkness, go on the roof and, and preach it. And tell it. So the, the most I will do nothing without telling you, the prophets, what to do. Hey, I'm gonna do this to this place. Right? The scripture said that when when um when the angel, when Yahweh was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he said he went to his friend Abraham. He said, Must I hide this thing from my friend Abraham? Which will be a great nation. The thing that I am about to do, we will instruct his, his, his children after me to, to, to seek after me. And he tell him, Hey, listen, I'm going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> right? And Simon Gomorrah was, was warned also that they're going to be destroyed. Because Lot was telling them, hey, don't be so wicked. The, 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 the Sodomites, they even tried to say, hey, this one, this one, so Jonah, come here to be a judge over us. You see? So he was judging them. And the angel said, listen, go. Get, get to your, 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 your friends or, or whoever belongs to you, your children, your wife, and, and your belongings. Get them out of this place because we're going to destroy you. And the scripture says, you went to his son-in-law and telling him, hey, listen, you need to get out of this place. Because the Lord is about to destroy this place. And they said, the scripture said, they watch him mock like he was a mad man. Likewise, they're doing it today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the scripture say, um, hey. Somebody could get a piece of for me, man. I just said, what in this piece of it? You mean my chin? Um, my chin chip, 24. I'm stuck. Verse 36 says, 
24 verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, mm -hmm. but my Father only, you know, but as the days of no work, as the day of no work, so also shall the, so also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, huh. what? says, um, for as in the days that were before the flood, mm -hmm. they were eating and drinking. As the day before the flood, Noah was teaching them. Noah was probably saying, hey, this place is going to flood. This place is going to flood, bro. Hey, the place is going to flood. Go ahead. It says, it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, mm -hmm. marrying, having sex, and, and giving in marriage. And giving in marriage. Hey, you could take my daughter, you could take my son. Go ahead. It says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Yeah, hey, you know what, Noah? And the most I only tell Noah, I want you alone to enter in, the, in there with your family. You'll take your three sons, take your wife, and I want you also to take your wife. Go into the heart. Don't tell nobody, no. Tomorrow this is going to happen. Go ahead. He says, I knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So and this shall. Is a, this is this age. Hey, scripture say, and Yahweh is going to come as a thief in the night. This is what's about to happen. My feeling in, um, in, if it's Zechariah 12, it say they're going to be consumed while they're standing on the feet. Because what? These missiles, they even got nowhere to run when these missiles started to hit Babylon. Right? They can't run. I'm going to, um, when Apostle Gabbai did a video and say, hey, it will take about 15 to 20 minutes for, for one of the missiles to hit, hit Babylon. How far could you get in 20 to 15 minutes? Black, two black, two black. You know, they, some of them even get no way because they're going to just stand up and give because what? The shot. Here it's coming up. Yeah, the shot. It's like, some of them ain't going to believe because they say what? America, great America? Our great defense? Hey, we already visualize it. <laughs> but hey, the scripture said in, um, in, in Psalms 91, thy eyes shall see the destruction of the enemy. Our eyes gonna see the behold of the, the reward of the wicked. Let me get a precept quick, man. Right? This is Psalms 91 and 8. It said, only thy eyes shall, only thy eyes shall thou behold the eyes. See, see, let me read it back one time. It say, only with thy eyes shall thou behold the eyes, the reward, shall see the reward of the wicked. Right? So with your eyes, you will see the reward of the wicked. Get it? Um, it says, and knew not until the flood came uh -huh. and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. That's how the Son of Man will be. That, that great day of the Lord. Destruction. <laughs> right? You have any more? Yeah. And if you want to go down with it too, shall be grinding. Oh, no, nah, you're not to go today. Do uh, you have anything you want to bring on? Give me, give me, um, give me look. Let me look 14, start at 16 for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This Luke chapter 14, of verse 16, it okay. says, Then said he unto them, A certain man made a great supper and bade men, yeah. and sent a servant, and sent a servant at supper time to say to them that were been, come, for all things are now ready. Huh. Stop and, right there. And that sort of man is done by Yahawashai. Right? Yahawashai, Yahawashai, this is the great supper. Right? And the servants are the prophets. Right? We out here, building our people, you so-called black, Latino, native, and negro, 
to come to the south. Right? It's it all thing already. Don't believe me. Give me um give me John chapter 14, 14 side of one. Give me um second Ezra chapter 2 and 13. That's what that wallet give me. John 14 and 1. God. It's John chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. Uh -huh. Ye believe in the Mosai, believe also in me. Right, so whoever believes in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh believe in, believe in Yahweh, believe in Yahweh Shai. Right, that's in their true name. Go ahead, give me more. Verse 2, in my father's house. Who's the father? The father is from Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth. Right, not no Jehovah, not no Jah, not no Selassie. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. That's not his name. Run. Go ahead. In my father's house are many mansions. See, many mansions. You know what we're talking about? It's talking about the universe. Right? It's talking about planets. Go ahead. He says, are many mansions. Mm -hmm. If it were not so, I would have told you. Right. A mansion means dwelling place. Jump to second answer now for me. Second answer chapter 2 and 13. So this supper, this supper that you see that is preparing right now, is for you to eat. It's also done with this truth. Right? The most I have, the most I have. Such an chapter 2 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, Go and ye shall receive, mm -hmm. pray for a few days uh -huh. unto you. Go ahead. That ye may be strong. That ye may be strong. That they may be certain. Yep. The kingdom is already prepared. Yeah, the kingdom is you. already prepared. Right? So you say what? The great everything is set already? We don't know. Give me the precept. Come on, go back there. Go back. John 14. Back to John 14. Yeah. Back in John 14, verse 2. Mm -hmm. It says, In my father's house are many mansions. Uh -huh. If it were not so, I would have told you. Mm -hmm. I go to prepare a place for you. So the kingdom is already prepared. Jump back to Luke. Yeah, right. but as we speak right now, the kingdom is already prepared. It's already prepared. Right? The elect is already seen. Right? The word is already spread abroad. Everybody knows about the Israelites. Now we're going to our, our, our leader, right? Apostle Teha, we're waiting on spiritual power now. That's right. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, back in Luke 14 and verse 18, it says, And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. Yeah, go ahead. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of And you know who is these people are making excuse? Our people. Our people are, are making those excuses, right? Let me show you why I say our people. Give me, give me Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 3 and 6. Our people are making that, those excuses. For me, huh? <laughs> yeah, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. See, that's what the servants are sent unto the house of Israel. Go ahead and speak with my words unto them. Speak with what? This word of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shem. The old book, bro. We ain't coming to you three quarters away. We ain't coming to you 99%. 100 You know what? We coming to you 144 percent. See that? Says, for thou, for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech mm -hmm. or of an art tongue, but to the house of Israel. Go ahead. Not to many people of strange speech we don't. or of an art language uh -huh. whose words thou cannot understand. We don't have. Surely I had sent thee to them, mm -hmm. they would have hearkened unto thee. So they're telling you straight in the book, in the, in the, for the supper, talking about you Israelites. Right? Go back to Luca. 
I can stumble you so called black, Latino, native, and Negroes. Right? You hard headed ones. Stubborn. Back in Luke uh, 14, verse 18, mm -hmm. and there with all, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of land, a piece of ground, and I must need to go and see it. Hey, you know I bought a piece of land. I gotta go check this land out to see if it's worth my money. I can't come and listen to you preach. But the lesson that you talk about, you want? Oh, the one that I wanted? I can't come for that. I'm too busy. Too busy. I can't come for that. Right? I gotta go and check this ground out. I give the motherfucking ground with this move. Right? The land ain't going nowhere. I could tell you the profits are going to be moving. It's a possibility that you wouldn't come here next week and see us here. We don't have. I must need to go and see it. I pray you have me excuse. Yeah, have you excuse. This is our people, bro. Always making excuse. Scripture says a sinful man always make excuse. We don't. It says, and another said, I have five yoke of oxen, mm -hmm. and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excuse. You know, I buy some. You know, I buy some animal. I buy some stocks. You know, hey, guess what? I got some male and some female, and I'm gonna get some babies, and that money gonna be much. Yeah, you all about money, right? You all about money. Go ahead, huh? Twenty. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. Yeah, you know I gotta go see, make sure my virgin is good. I gotta go and make sure that, hey, you know, no man is touching my wife. So I don't have time to come and hear you. I'm busy, bro. We don't have. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Mm -hmm. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, yeah. Go out quickly. What? Yeah. Go out quickly into the streets and lands of the city and bring in either the poor and the men and the up and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And you know when the serve the most when the, when the Lord get angry and send a servant out, he's talking about the prophet. He said to go to them that are sick. Give me, give me Isaiah um, 61 and 1. Right? Because now we send them out to say, hey, go into the street and you're gonna find the elect. He never said build a church, he never said build a building, he said go out into the street. Because guess what? The elect, they're in the street. They're sick. They're in prison. Go out there, you're gonna find them. Right? Go ahead. Isaiah 61 verse 1. What is it? Says the spirit of the Messiah is upon me. Upon the prophets. Go ahead. Because because Yahweh had anointed me to preach good tidings and unto the meek. The anointing go back to the unction to know all things. Right? Hey, Apostle Gabai did a video that the Holy Spirit already gave us all the tools we need to use. So everything we need is right here. We have it. We don't. It says, had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Uh -huh. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Oh, what is that? He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Our people, the elect. Go ahead. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Captive that they that are mentally enslaved. Right? To free their mind. Hey, you the Israelite. You know that? Yeah, you the chosen people. You those people on this, 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 this side. Right? These, these people. Hey, can you see yourself? Yeah, I see myself here. Uh, hey, the Negroes. The, the, I'm a Negro. Right? Come on, man. You see yourself, and guess what? You know that that, that hey, you you the chosen people in the most side. Hey, the first time I was told that hey, I, hey I'm a Negro, and I'm, I'm I'm on this chart here. Wait, this book is our book, and there was a joy inside of me. I was overwhelmed. Where that? Huh? It says, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And you know what? There was a prophet I saw, a prophet I saw in the street that tell me, hey, you 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 the chosen people of the Howard and the Howard. 
So those are the servants the most I said send them out. Read on. Yeah, verse verse two. Yeah, no, says, that's it. Jump back. Jump back to Luke. Yeah. Back in Luke chapter 14, verse 21, mm -hmm. says, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Uh -huh. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, mm -hmm. Go quickly into the streets and lands of the city and bring in either the poor and men and the old and the blind. And the servant said, It is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. And yet there is room. Because you know what? All Israel is going to be saved. All Israel is going to be saved. Go ahead. Give me some more. Verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, mm -hmm. Go out unto go out unto the highways and edges mm -hmm. and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. And that is what we do it. So hey, you gotta. Even the, the prophets, we also, we also have to watch ourselves. We also have to find time to do our part. Right? Let me show you this here. You can't be too much taken up with things that is not needed. Give me, um, give me Surah 38, side of 24. Right? You gotta, you gotta, you, we, we have a duty. Right? We're supposed to do our videos. We're supposed to find time to study with the brethren. We're supposed to do a hey, we gotta, we, we have a duty, bro. The scripture said we're supposed to feed the flock. We're supposed to attend to them. The book of, the book of I, um, Revelation said, come back to your first love. Come back to your first love. Go ahead, give me the precept quick. 34 and 8. 34 and 24. 30, 30, 38 and 24, huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, Surah 38, verse 24 mm -hmm. says, The wisdom of a learned man coming by opportunity of leisure. And when you look the word of leisure, it means free time. It's a learned man. So, hey, don't be overloaded too much. You understand? Don't overload yourself too much. Try to find time, right, for the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Do your part, because hey, all the things that the Most I have given you, you can take it back in a jiffy. In a jiffy, I say, man, right? I want to look this word up uh, quick. Leisure, right? Leisure. It's a time available for ease and relaxation. So you're supposed to find the time for relaxation. You don't work yourself to death, bro. Yourself? You don't work yourself to death, right? Or you don't occupy your, your time and things that you're not finding time to study, to connect to brothers, right? You have you gotta stop. If you do it, you, you, you're slacking, tighten up your belt. Why? Because uh, when you look at all of the prophecy in the news, you see what is going on? This is time for you to buckle your shoes, bro. This is the time to be like the Passover. Your shoes on your foot, your garment on, your staff in your hand, and you, you, guard, you guard your lungs, bro. This is the time that we in. Forget, you, hey, something you gotta forget about, about money. Because the scripture says your money will save you in the day of wrath. Go ahead, uh, give me some more of the precepts. Oh, let me finish this here. Right? It's it. Yeah. It's a time available for ease and relaxation. It's a his job left him with the leisure. You work yourself to death and you and you tired that when you go for study, you just sleep the hell away, bro. You know? And this is how this place is. It's it, it set up to keep you so. But you as, as a man of the Lord, we, we have a prophet. We, the prophet have a duty that we gotta, hey, we gotta stay alert. Look out for these things. You had a precept and then you go right back there. Yeah, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. 
for though I preach his gospel, I have nothing to glory for. Go ahead. For necessities, for are what? Necessities uh -huh. is laid up, up upon me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, who is one to me uh -huh. if I preach not this gospel. So who is not, you're going to be destroyed if you do what you're supposed to do as a prophet. Keep in mind, the most I could put you to death and bring you back. Uh, I like, oh, the most I could suffer you and bring you, hey, the most I don't play, you know. The most I, hey, the most I go for kill Moses just because he didn't circumcise his son. Uh, the most I don't play. Well, for if I do this thing willingly, mm -hmm. I have a reward. But if again, so you you gotta watch and see if you're doing this thing willingly. If you do it willingly, there's a reward laid up for you. Right? Go ahead. But if I not here, but if against my will, mm -hmm. I dispension. This country of the gospel is committed unto me. Right, so you're supposed to do this thing willingly. Right? Because guess what? Punishment is laid up for you if you do it. Right? Judgment is there for you. Where that? Give me the precept. Go back there for me. Yeah, back in, back in Sirach 38, 24, mm -hmm. says the wisdom of a learned man. Come by opportunity of leisure, and he that had little business shall become wise. Ooh. And he that have little business shall become wise. Right? So you you gotta hey you gotta cut down on certain things to do it to find time to do the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Give me um give me Second Timothy two and fifteen. Right? You gotta cut down ease ease on certain things you do it. Ease on certain things you're doing and find time for your how about your how we shot. You know, shoot your video. Push in a little study. You understand? Because you will find you'll find you your, your oil is gonna be taken away from you. Give me that. So second right. Timothy 2 and verse. Give me, give me, give me, um, give me, says, me yeah. Give me Sir Sir 14. You start at 9 for me, huh? No, no, you, you, go, you bring me ready. Second Timothy 2 and 15, mm -hmm. study to show thyself approved unto your hour. Stop, right there, it says study. Study, you got to keep studying. You, you see, the, one of the things that you, you have to do is like, hey, like, hey, let me say, okay, I, I love food, right? Yeah. But in order for me to, to always be good in it, I have to keep practicing. I have to keep practicing all the time. So that I could be better and perfect it. Hey, been a while I haven't played. But guess what? My game is clunky right now. It's, it's messed up. So I, I, I train you could come and beat me. You understand? So in this in this this truth, you gotta keep studying. You understand? Keep studying. Keep refreshing on, on what, what you what you learn. Go ahead up. Says study to show thyself approved mm -hmm. unto your hour, mm -hmm. a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, uh -huh. righteously dividing the words of truth. Right, so right, rightly dividing the word of the truth. So you you keeping in, in these breakdowns. You keep it, you, you always have an answer for somebody that have, have a question. And then hey, by, by keep keep studying, it, it, you know what one of the things they teach you? They teach you how to be patient and humble and to apply the scripture. Because the minute you started to forget about the scripture, you're gonna find you're gonna start being a nigger. And you don't wanna be a nigger. The most I will destroy you. Go, give me the precept where you get it. Yes, Sirach 14, verse 9, mm -hmm. it says, a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. Right. The most I already given you what? The scripture said, give us this day our daily bread. So if you're getting your daily bread, make sure you're doing the will of your how watch and your shot. Don't forget John John 3 and, and 27. A man could receive nothing except the given from above. Right? But some people, when you see, they started to get things, they started to forget the how about shit, the how Why do you feel the most I call us poor? Right? Because what? You, 
you saw in your in your lowest state, worship your how much in your house. Do what you're supposed to do. And because you get a piece of money, you're like, you know what? Let me look for a little more money. Hey, you know what? 